Okay. None of my business, love, except for the man does work for me. Mm -hmm. And he said he was worried about the baby. Yeah. When was this? I was in the cafe last week, and I've seen the kid a couple of times since then. I just, well... Go just, on. Well, he don't seem too bright, but... In what way? It's difficult to put a finger on it, and if Ali hadn't mentioned it to me, I probably wouldn't have thought nothing else about it. Okay, I'll have a word with uh, you. Carmel, darling, please, uh, don't, don't say it was me that told you, will you, please? No, of course not. I just thought I'd better mention it later. Look, it's always best to check these things out. I'll have a quiet word with Ali this morning. Yeah, well, I hope everything's kosher, or whatever it is those Turks say. Yeah, yeah I heard you had a bit of a near thing with Janine the other day. Yes, it was a bit too near for my liking, I'm afraid, but, uh, well, if it hadn't been really being there, I couldn't be sure when I spring myself. Uh, which doesn't make this any easier. Anyway, I'll catch you later. Okay. Oh, Junior, aren't you ready yet? You're not wanting to go now, are Junior! you? Junior! Oh, it'll only take me half an hour to get ready anyway. All right, all right, you in. You can stay here, but I'll be popping in and out of this house most of the day, and if you put one foot wrong, you'll be wishing you were at school. Come on, Aisha, let's go. Let's just take that and let's get out of here. Come on! Hey, what's this? Mills on wheels? Just out this morning without even a cup of tea. Don't leave me strange up. Thank you, my sweetheart. Thank Important, you. was it? That's nah, just a bit of business, mate. How's things over the pub? Well, Diane's driving everybody mad. She's trying to pack. She can't find a thing. Yeah, do we got to get away for a couple of weeks. The time she gets back, she'll have forgot all about that two time in prep. Janine ain't helping matters. She keeps winding her up. Yeah, I would have thought after last week she would have calmed down a bit, you know. Frank, don't start again. Oh, I said on. I'm all sorry. Right, it's all right, it's all right. It's one of those things, that's all. It won't happen again. No, right it won't. And I'm the one that should be apologising to you, you know. I was way out. Anybody would have been upset. Oh. Anyway, Ricky's looking after this morning. He reckons she can help him clean the cars. Well, what do you know? Mr. Osman on time for a change. Very nice, Harry. No, no, it's all my awesome. It's just that I thought being a relative newcomer, the, the post of LVA president was totally out of my reach. Yeah. <laughs> well, of course it would, Harry. Well, I wish more people had that sort of philosophy. Dad, you see my hair dry? Dad, did you see my hair dry? Just a minute, Harry. I've got a problem. Hang on, mate. Darling, please, I'm on the phone, sweetheart. Yes, but I need it. Yes, but well, I need it. All right. We're going to look on Pat's dressing table. She might have borrowed it. Would you mind, please? Right. Thank you. Sorry about that, what you were saying. <laughs> no, I was saying, yeah. No, if I got elected, of course I'd be over the moon, my old son. Of course I would. Oh, uh, great. Yeah, I'm not going to fuck. Well, what do you want? Mm hmm BMW, Merck, something like that. Uh -huh. What sort of money are we looking at? Oh, well, in that case, I should go for a BMW if I was you. Newish Merck makes a few more bugs than that. Yeah. Well, of course I can. Dad, it's not there. Dad, it's friend. not there. Just hang on a minute, Harry, will you please? Ladies, please, I'm on the phone. Ricky! This is important. This, this is, is also important. important. Do you mind, please? Thank you. Dad, I'm going to hit her in a minute. Dad, I'm going to hit no, her. No, I've got nothing like that. It's, it's not okay, Harry. No. Diane is. But I know a man it is. Harry, can I ring you back in about five minutes, mate? I think I've got the start of the Indian uprising on my hands here. Yeah. Five minutes, Harry. Thanks. She started it. She started Please, it. girls. But... Ricky! Are you calling me? No, 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 no. I was just exercising the vocal cords going, Ricky, Ricky. Take your sister over to Carl and give her some fresh air and keep an eye on her. I don't want to repeat what happened last week. All right, All right. come on, Diane. Oh, hysterical. Where do you get your sense of humour? Go on, Janine. I don't know. Here, draw. Yeah. Diane, where did you sit last, darling? I don't know where it is. It's in my room. You should have asked me, Diane. Yeah, Frank. Over a couple of weeks, yeah. Oh, so you still bring in the chance, though, do you? Well, fatter is uh, carries a lot of weight in the LBA, you know. Carries a lot of weight, full stop. I reckon if I get this BMW for his missus, you could well be looking at my next president of the local LBA. I think I'll have a ring around see what's about. Yeah, I'm off now, Frank. Well, where are you going? Uh, dentist, remember? Well, what about? Oh, it's just a few magazines and things. You know what dentists like? You can wait there for hours, can't you? Oh, yeah. Well, never mind, eh? I'm going to for a couple of hours. Something's come up. What? Something. Well, give us a clue. I mean, is it a nuclear holocaust, the part of the Red Sea for the second time, you know? This person, right? Well, so is my mail me or something, but I keep working. That won't be long. Mm -hmm. What about the car, though? Well, Rick is over there. Well, Rick is supposed to be looking over Janine, so we can't do everything, can he? Can't he pop over there for an hour or so? No, I don't feel obliged to say this to you, but I will. Which... Simon's having his cavities filled, Pat's doing the shopping, I'm expecting an important phone call, which will leave Cindy all in a row. Half an hour, then. Ellie, as I keep trying to explain to you, my son, I'm not running a charity here. You yeah, I know that. You've got to... Oi, 
You're supposed to be in a car lot. What's the problem? Can't handle the rush. I want to shoot off for a couple of hours. I want you to cover for me. Well, I've got to look after Janine. She gets bored hanging around all day. All right, right. Look, I'll make it worth your while. How much? Fiver. Do me a favour. Double it and we might be talking business. The tenner? Dumb. I have been. Yeah, hold it. Cash up front. <sighs> you drive a hard bargain. Yeah. Right, come on, you. We're off. I want to go to the car now. Why not? It's boring. Well, look after you. Eh? Hey? Hey? Eh? I've got nothing to do. Have a wait. No, look, I'm sorry. It's more than my life so I've to have a wandering up and down streets all day. We'll make it worth our while. We'll see Chanel across his road all afternoon, won't we, Junior? Of course we will. We can watch a video around my place. I knew he'd think something. Right, but any problems with my with the car lot, all right? Oh, all right, if you've got something. What? Cash up front. How much? Five, but that'll include expenses. Oh. Right, look after her, all right? Yeah, well, thanks for looking at me, I appreciate it. Yeah. If you do have anybody who wants to get rid of one, send them around to me, man. Yeah, I appreciate that. I can move some point. All right, fellas. Oh, Hi, right. Mr. Butcher. Ow. So, like I said, you know, I've got to pop round and make it out in this thing. Can't beat being your own boss. That's how I feel. Well, you know that. Well, I haven't got a boss, have I? That's because you haven't got a job. Hi, Trevor. Oh, hi, Dan. I'm just off now. Eddie, we're gonna go stay with friends for a couple of weeks. I think it's for the best, Dan. Look, Diane, I'm sorry. If no, I... you're not. I just thought you meant what you said. That's all. Right. What did he say? I did mean. No, you didn't. You can't have done. What did he say? It's got nothing to do with you. It might have. I'm telling you, it hasn't. I just want you to know what pig I think you're being. Here, here. I mean, how could you go with him? I, got... I didn't know, except I would have told you. Will you shut up, Trevor? This is between me and Ju I mean, Diane and me. See, can't get my name right anymore. Julie now. I think that's bang out of order, Paul, calling Diane Julie. Will you shut up? No, I'm going. Do you know, I hope you get on really well together. I hope you get on so well that you marry her. I mean, she'll be needing you soon, won't she, to collect her pension? That's what I thought. She's really old, isn't she? Is the skin all wrinkly, Paul? I'm warning you. Can't you see she's using you? She wants you to be her toy boy. Julie's not like that. No, of course she isn't. <laughs> And she's not bothered about going out with someone young enough to be her son. All she's interested in is your brain. All you're interested in is learning how to do her highlights. And if you believe that, Paul, you're thicker than I thought you were. Well, you didn't handle that very well, did you? Anyone want a drink? No. Uh, what's this code again? Swamp killers. <laughs> How did you manage to get an 18 out? So how let me have it? It was a cinch. Wonder if he let me get out an 18. Shall we? This is the best bit. How do you know? I've seen it before. Ah, oh, the wonder returns, does it? Oh, found out, have you? Well, of course I found it. It's across the road, not the other side. I had no choice. It was a little loud. Had to go and get him, didn't I? What's wrong with him? Oh, that childminder. She's been leaving him on his own all day long. No wonder he was in such a state. Is he all right now? Yeah, he's fine. He's at my mum's for night. Listen, Ellie, these sort of problems I've to sympathise with, son. It happens again. Come to me and tell me the truth. We can work someone out. Just don't leave me in the lurch. Motoring's all about. Oh, no. What do you think, huh? This is a new BMW. This is GB's. He's my old son. Yeah. Sweet as a nut. This yeah. when you're taking it to Fat Harry then. This afternoon, my darling, I can't wait to see his face. Not a dent, not a little bit of rust. 10,000 miles on the clock, one year old. Comes in at eight, goes at 11. Three grand to his nibs. <laughs> Three? Three what? 100? Three grand. I just oh, sold you. Three grand. Yeah. Your don't sell word to anybody. All right, son. Good lad. Good lad. Look at it. Look at it. Very nice, very nice. Oh, nice colour too, isn't it? Hey, I think we're in the wrong business, though. Obviously. Oh, yeah. Here, Frank, did I tell you about his course? Sorry, darling. The management course. Oh, baby, smell that rule ever. Is it a couple of weeks ago, right? He applied for a course with the brewery scene today. Well, it... Do me a favour, I'll go and get Pat. She's got to see this. What a motor car. Yeah, great, Frank. Yep, you're welcome, my old son. And most of the large steak and kidney pie standing by. Would there be anything else, sir? No, thank you, sir. You all set, bro? Yeah. Toothbrush, tickets, passport. The lot. You see, uh, Fat Harry's BMW outside? Yeah, look then. Look, Reem, as you mean, so I'm taking it around later on, cash and delivery. And with a little bit of luck, Frank Butcher for the old chair. Hey? Well, if Fat Harry likes a motor car, he can well push the LVA chairmanship my way. I'll be great for business. You know, local big wit known far and wide. Eh? Oh, yeah, it reminds me, Frank, about my van. Not van. You know, the minivan. Oh, yeah. Well, there's no point in me having it now, is there? Now I've been banging. No, not a lot of points. So I thought you could knock it out for me. 
Oh, yeah? What? And keep the change? Oh, no. Give it to my inner Cindy. I mean, the way things are with them two, they could do with a few quid, eh? Yeah, you know which part? Yeah. On commission, of course. Oh, yeah, of course, mate. Here and Bill. It's your lucky day. Oh, I Yes. Glad you come. And you are, mate. Yeah, right, boy. Here, Cinca. No, I haven't. Hello, Shell. Glad you come, love. Cinca? No. Fat Harry was over the moon, my son over the moon. Who was over what? Fat Harry was over the moon. What about? Fat is BMW, which means that Frank can now be the big boss man of the old BMW. Or vice versa. Yeah, exactly. All right, all right. You just wait till I'm president. President, Frank, you're going to be a chairman. Two hours to love. Carry on. Honestly, it's bribery and corruption, that's what it is. He sells Fat Harry a motor, Fat Harry rigs the election. No, 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 no. You got it all wrong. What election? You just may be looking at the next president. The next chairman of the local LVA. That's all my sweet. Yeah, I'm sure it'll be the landlord. And it's got minutes, nothing to do with the BMW. And if you believe that, you believe anything. Well, there you go. Bad world. So, how's the flat? It's fine. It is. Two girls to look after you. Bet you must get waited around in the No, we'll take it in terms. Oh, okay. Yeah. So, about the washing, I bet you don't do that. I do. Yeah. Yeah. You turn it a bit sweet, then. Sure. Frank. Look, I've come to apologise about my behaviour the other night. Hey, that's all right, Ali. Forget it. Already happened. Else. Yeah. But you're right about one thing. It all boils down to me, doesn't it? Hey, well, that's good. That shows you're on the right track. How do you mean? Well, for getting yourself back in your fear again. Now, listen, don't think I'm in the fear of old son, but steer clear of that, because it ain't your cup of tea. Mm. Stick to what you know best. Catering, that's your game. Yeah, you're right about that. Yeah. Anyway, how's it going down the car, lot? Couldn't be better, my old son. You could well be looking at the next chairman of the local LVA. Yeah. <laughs> I just sold Fat Harry a lovely motor car. Oh, yeah? Let me guess now. The old Capri you've been sitting on for ages. Oh, no, 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 no. A nice BMW 325 convertible. What? Yeah. How'd you get it for? Well, let's just say uh, I made a nice few salt. Hello. Are you on your own? Yeah, I'm celebrating. Well, I'm drowning my sorrows. Come on, someone. Oh, look, if you my darling, what can I do for you, love? Well, what I'd really like is a glass of bubbly, but don't suppose I can have that. Oh, I don't know about that, sweetheart. I'm celebrating a little bit of success myself, and I was looking for another excuse. You just give me one, stay <laughs> Well, he's been going away for a while. Here we go, my darling. So you're going to tell Uncle Frank what you're celebrating or what? Oh, my new life as a single lady. Oh, I don't know, Doc. We're in a day, eh? There's just no old one, is there? <laughs> I am celebrating and of a nice few bob and a certain forthcoming appointment. What about you, Doc? You look a bit down. Go on, think of a think of something nice. You look like a wet weekend in Clacton. <laughs> no? All right then. So Kathy's brave new world. Butcher for president. No, no, butcher for chairman. Oh. Excuse me, darling, will you please? Wet weekend in Clacton then. Mr. Butcher? The very same, Governor. I believe you recently sold a BMW to Mr. Harold Gimman at the Feathers Public House in Turpin Road. Yes. Did you realise that vehicle was stolen property, sir? Hello, oh, Frank. How's it going? Oh, wonderful. Makes you feel proud to be British. That's all sorted, then. Yes, you could say that. This uh, sergeant explained me all the ins and outs of the law. Apparently, there are three parties involved. The geezer had his car nicked, the tow rag that sold it to me, and yours truly. So? Well, the bottom line is that the geezer had his car nicked, gets it back, the tow rag that sold it to me gets to keep my freedom. And what do you get? I get stitched up. Hey, hey, hey. Mum, not I want to with you. Darling, sweetheart. What? Scampy. Yes, Mum, I've got a pal of mine. 20 bags of it in my freezer. This pal of mine drives for a firm, Mum, and he often turns up oh, with a yeah. sword. Just mom, as I thought. Mum, Mum, don't look at me like that, darling. It's legal. It's all above board. It's legit. It's kosher. Here. Hmm. Yeah. Can you get kosher scammy, Mum? Nothing funny about stolen property. <sighs> Mum, it goes on all the time, love. It's driver's perks, sweetheart. Then it'll just have to go back. What am I supposed to say to him? My mum said I've got to give you this back and I can't play with you anymore. You can chuck it in the canal for chuck a while. Chuck it in the canal? What the point is in that, Mum? It's no good trying to set it free now, love. It's coated in breadcrumb. Law says, son, I bought that motor car off you in good faith. Unfortunate? I tell you what will be unfortunate, Paul. It'll be unfortunate when I don't get my money. Now you listen to me, pal. I'm going to say this very slowly so you understand me. If I don't get my money back, they're going to have to scrape you off your nice, clean, shiny showroom floor with a pallet knife. And on top... Hello? Hello! You... Right. Here. Mum! Will you put that phone down, please? Where's Ricky? I want some errands run. He's over the car lot. He's looking over that motor car I bought in yesterday. You haven't given it to him. It'll keep him out of mischief. Old cars never kept you out of mischief. Billy. Frank Butcher. Yeah, it's been a long time, yeah. Just hang on a minute, Billy, will you? I'm on the phone. This'll cause nothing but trouble. You mark my words. Billy. I 
I've got a job for you. It's worse. And the geezer's name's at the top. Now, you speak to nobody but him. Now, he's got himself down as a bit of an old man, but take a notice of that. He's all mouth from white fronts. The most important thing, no violence and any circumstances. You just explain to the gentleman the error of his ways and ask him what I would expect payment. And with a bit of luck, that should be enough. Recap. You go in, you show your faces, you say your peace, and you get out. Yeah? Don't want those, what do you want? And you better stop that or I'll tell you all day. You can tell your stupid mum as well for all I care. That's enough of that language, young lady, and all, all right? Here, yeah, what's going on? He won't let me have any crisps. Don't you tell stories, Take you? these, off you go. Go on. Oh, bag of crisps. What's going to fit round here, up? Oh, you're going to tell Dad that, are you? I might just do that, yeah. Yeah, well, he thinks the sun shines out of her eyes, doesn't he? Well, he does know her. Yeah, he does, but he thinks she needs a little bit of time, that's all. So what's she got against my mum? Well, she only came here because they got married, didn't she? Don't talk to me about kids. I lost a whole case of apples yesterday. What, kids? Yeah, well, you don't mind. I mean, you expect that, but a whole case? There are. And is Harry Peters up on the allotment? He keeps chickens. Someone's knocking off his head. I blame the parents, my old yes. son. Well, right. they're too soft with them. That's the trouble. Absolutely. My old dad used to catch me feeding, mate. He used to give me a night with a slipper. Yeah, mine too. <laughs> Do you remember? They used to have names for them, didn't they? Yeah. My dad's was called Horrible Lawrence. Nice. He never used to wear it, he used to hang on the wall. And they used to make you <laughs> fetch it, didn't they? That walk back to my dad's chair when his slipper in my hand was the longest walk in my entire life. I tell you, it was hard at the time, but if more parents did that now, there wouldn't be all this feeling. Oh, know? I gotta agree with you, Arthur. You're right, but you uh, don't want to want any scam you, do you? Frank, it's still there. What's that, Mum? Nelson's column, the Great Wall of China. You know what I'm talking about, in my freezer. Well, if you put it on the menu, Mum, perhaps we could eat all the evidence. Over my dead body. Don't tempt me. There's the address. And the geezer's name's at the top. Now, you speak to nobody but him. And he's got himself down as a bit of an old man, but take a notice of that. He's all now from my friends. The most important thing, no violence and any circumstances. You just explain to the gentleman the error of his ways and ask him what I would expect payment. And with a bit of luck, that should be enough. Recap. You go in, you show your faces, you say your peace, and you get out. Yeah? Oh, sound 65, please. Cheers. Oh, gosh. Are you had a bit of trouble? <coughs> oh, yeah. Yeah, something about a bent BMW and the guy holding onto his dough. You heard about that, did you? Yeah. Well, I know a lot of people, don't I? Oh, well, you also know that it won't be a problem, I tell you. No? No, oh, but. I've got it all in hand, you might say. Is that right? Yeah. Well, like I said, if you need any help, I know a lot of people. Just give us a shout, yeah? Yeah, bear it in mind. So Queen Vic? Yeah, hang on a minute. Frank? Yes, phone. I oh, love you. See you later, one. Matt? No, I'm on the phone, love you. Hi, what's up? Yeah, what was all that about? Excuse me. If you're covering up for him. Hey? And that's what he said, though. He'd be in touch. Yeah, I knew he'd lose his bottle. Yeah. I bet he was shaking in his designer boots, wasn't he? Yeah. Lovely Bill here. Yeah. Thank the boys for me and Billy. Oh, you want me, old son? Thank you very much. Yeah, you've been up to something. Now, what makes you think that? Because you've got that soppy grin on your oh, face. Mum, I just had a bit of good news. That's oh? All. Yes, I thought I lost something, but it turns out that I haven't. Oh, a money makes the book go round. Go round. Hey. Hey, Frank Butcher. No. Hang on, buddy, please. Diane! Yeah? It's for you, baby. I don't know what it is, love. What's the matter with you? I thought you sorted out your problems this afternoon. Yeah, I've just got to dot the I's and cross the T's, that's all. Oh, nice. Evening all. Hello, Sydney, sweetheart. No, don't come on with you. Could I, uh, have the noise? Yeah, great. Thanks for having me. Yeah, it's great. Bye. I want to work with you. Oh, I am honoured. Oh, don't tell me, Simon. Sharon and you are getting married. Have you seen him? Oh, yeah, the earring. Thanks a lot. I didn't even know I dropped it. Oh, what, you just let it fall in my pocket, did you? 
Now, why would I do a thing like that? Because you're sick. Be able to do anything like this again. And you're what? Come on, Simon, tell me. I'm really interested. You'll regret it, yes. Don't ever threaten me, all right? Not unless you want your precious little Sharon to find out about our after-hour session on the carpet. You wouldn't dare. Don't you bet your life in its sunshine. Thanks. Thank you. Excuse me. So I, I use the other. Hey, come on, you two, sort yourself out. There's people that can your money about. Take it off before I... <laughs> Hello, we're all going to do this, sir. Oh, quick after us, mate. Absolutely. You two love birds of a rare, aren't you? So I what? Well, the young lady doesn't seem to be uh, bursting with happiness, does she? Oh, yeah, well, um, I think she's got the oven back me opening up the cat 24 hours. Well, the burner, do you think you might get paid? Well, I can't see why not. I mean, she should get a bit of trade when the pub shuts and, you know, once word gets around, the lorry driver's parking up, you know? And she's not too happy about that, then? Oh, no women, Frank. I mean, they don't understand business, do they? I mean, oh, they've got a first idea, haven't they? Putting the right. world to rights, are we, boys? No, young Ian, we're just saying about how women don't understand business, though. He was, was he? Just some of them, not all of them, you know? <laughs> I love you, right? Right. Looks like you're between a rock and an hard place, so I'm not going to get you. Can I get your drink, love? No, thanks. You're right. Yeah, well, I shouldn't have oh, Well, I just thought you might have slapped the ump with me about the cap, you know. Oh, no, no. I mean, you've obviously made up your mind, haven't you? Oh, um, did you thank for Simon for finding you here? Oh, uh, yeah. Frank? Yeah. You going to try and sort it out with that motor? Ah, uh, just some white boy trying to pull a fast one, that's all. So you got it sorted out? Yeah, you must have thought I was some sort of mushroom, but I've been in the game far too long to fall with that sort of nonsense, Cocker. Yeah, so you got your money back then? Not exactly, but it's an end. As soon as he found out he wasn't dealing with a mug punter, his bottle went and he backed down. <laughs> good for you, Frank, good for you. Let me give you a bit of a voice. Don't let anybody take limits with you and get away. Because if they do, the word gets around, and sooner or later, everybody's at it. Come on, Trev. Nearly done it! I think it's come off a bit. Phone calls while I was outside, sir. I think so. Why are you expecting someone? Yeah. Oh, right, I'm off. I'll see you lot later, all right? Good night, young. I'll go and get that wine up, Frank. Yeah, good mate. at the moment. Yeah, thanks very much. Frank! Ricky! Look, Trevor out! Oh, uh, police! Give it off his body! Hold him, hold him! 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 Hold Arthur, are you all right? Yeah, I think so. Are you bleeding, love? Yeah, Trevor, are you all right? Where did the hit you mean? Did you try and stop them all by yourself, Trevor? Oh, damn. It's all right. Son? Yeah? Did you see a man run by? I ain't seen nothing. Nothing at all? I've been reading my magazine, and I? There's no one in. I'm waiting for my own. So there's no one at all? Well, that's what I said, didn't I? Right. Make get yourself inside, then. Morning, darling. There's no point in them getting up early in the office, is there? Where's your name? Next door watching telly. Frank. Mm -hmm. Do you think she'll ever really accept me? Oh, Janine. Well, of course you will, darling. She's giving you a bit of aggravation at the moment because she's a little kid and that's the way kids are. Come on, she'll get used to you. Sometimes I think she hates me. Yeah, hey, come on, you're not letting this get to your sweetheart, are you? It's not like my pet, my big brave girl would take on anybody. Oh, no. It's not really Janine. Everything's getting me down these days. I feel like a clapped out old horse that's ready for the knacker's yard. Darling. Tell me what to do, and if it's within the realms of possibility, I will do it. Maybe it's this place. 
takes over your life, doesn't it? If it's not one thing, it's another. Schlapping crates about. Being polite to punters when they're trying to pick fights with you. And the kids. Can't be good for them growing up in this atmosphere. Oh, come on, they seem all right, sweetheart. Face it, Frank. We didn't think this out properly. It can't be good for kids growing up over a pub. What can I do? <sighs> if only I knew. I don't know how to see you like this, Pat, but I don't know what to suggest, sweetheart. I was uh, talking to Marge the other day about the setup that Doris had. That's what I'd really like to do, a bed and breakfast. Hey, come on, that's an old game. There ain't much profit in this, sweetheart. I know. Anyway, that place ain't big enough for all of us, let alone guests. Still. Still, you fancy the idea, do you? Yeah, I do. I don't know why, but I do. Well, I'm fed up with drink and drunkards. I just like a bit of peace and quiet. What's going on here? I've told you before, I don't want half naked fellas to walk around my daughter's bedroom. Do you understand that? Yeah, I was just getting. Listen to me. Listen to me. While you live under my roof, you show me, my daughter, and my home a bit of respect. Now, am I making myself clear? Dad, he was only trying to wake you up. You shut up. Now, listen. Believe it or not, I was his age once myself. A bit hard to imagine. Don't be lippy with me. I know exactly how young fellas think and how they act, and I won't have it under my roof. Do you understand All that? Right, Frank, I'm sorry. Right. I'm sorry. Don't let it happen again. Hey. Run it and try. You trying to put the frights on me again or what? Frank's still getting no joy off that bloke. No, I'm a bit worried what he's going to do. It's a lot of money to lose. You can't blame Frank for coming in strong, can you? Yeah, but I don't want him getting into any more trouble. I don't want him getting into fights at his age. No, he might do his back in again, eh? Exactly. Right. Looks like I'm going to have to sort him out. I've tried everything else. Now I'm going to have to answer him the only language he understands. Well, maybe it won't come to that, Frank. If it does, Simon, can I count on your support? Just say the word, Frank. Yeah, good lad, good lad. Frank, oh, well. don't get in any deeper. love. forget it. It's only money. Darling, it is a lot of money. Yeah, I know, but it's not worth it. Sweetheart, the... if we're going to go into another business, I'm going to need every copper coin I can get my hands on. What do you mean? What you were talking about this morning, the B&B. Yeah, but I told you it ain't big enough for all of this. Oh, you've got to use some imagination. I've got imagination, I just ain't got money. <sighs> Pat, money's easy to get hold of. I am the business whiz kid round here, not you. Am I right or am I right? Yeah, but... Yeah, yes, Then leave it to me to check out, will you? Mm -hmm. Good girl. It's quite like some motor your rookie's doing up, isn't it, that minute? Yeah. I like to give the boy a bit of occupational therapy every now and again, but... Nothing but rust held together with a couple of coats of paint and filler. I tried to tell him, but he didn't take too kindly to it. Uh, this morning, that is. I mean, you've seen him this morning. Oh, is he keeping his eye on the car, Yeah, I've been over there most of the morning. It's been pretty quiet, really. A couple of people came and had a look at a motor. I tried to help Ricky out, do a bit of the chat and that. Uh, I well, really interesting. I don't know how to say this, me old son, but... I think in future I'd prefer if you stayed away from my car, though. Why? Well, you know, you know, selling cars. I mean, it's a skilled business, and it's... Right, I mean, look at the state here, son. What's the matter with me? Me are so scruffy. I mean, you've put off any perspective, boy. You, you lower the tone of my car, though. Is such a thing possible, I Now, what do you mean by that? Look at the state it was in last week. Half your motor smashed you out. It was broken glass all day. Yeah, it's all tied it up. The only yeah. thing it looked like was a set of a gangster movie. Now you tell me I'm too scruffy to set foot in it. Well, thanks very much, Frank. It's nice to know who your friends are. I was going to have another yeah. half a lager, but I suppose my money's too dumb for you come and all, is it? Come on, no, I, I didn't think it would be. Have this one on me, mate. Come on. Yeah, no odd feelings, Frank. Make it a pint, you know? You've got. Yes, you're going to be a real hard breaker. Just like a mum was. Well, I don't know what she's done to Trevor. But I reckon if I hadn't stepped in, he'd be at the bottom of the canal by now. Yeah, the lad ain't exactly clever to fall the deck off, was he? Well, they weren't generous when they were giving out brain boxes for him, would they? Arthur, let me buy you a drink. You've done a real good deed today. Sure, I'm in the way. Did I? There's no need to be modest. It was the act of a true Christian giving my Trevor a job. Oh, but I haven't. It's given him a sense of purpose. His first real chance in years. But, Mo, it's only for the day. Yeah. What? Yeah, I don't need a full time help. And even if I did, I'd right, never... Right, Everybody knows what a mess you made of that stall since Peepeel went away. Of course you need help. What do you mean, a mess? There's no need to be touchy. It's common knowledge. Anyway, I think you might have made it clear to Trevor. As far as he's concerned, he's got a job. I can't help if he can't understand plain English. It's not my fault if he's got nothing between the ears except a lot of air rushing about. He may not be the brain of Britain, but he's willing and honest and hard-working. I'll give him a try. No, I'm sorry, Mo. Sorry. Right, you don't want him. There's plenty of blokes up the market who are keen to have him. Well, you amaze me. They can see the sense of it even if you can't. Two blokes serving on a stall can get through twice as many customers. People don't get fed up with waiting and go elsewhere. Well, what about a cafe? You need someone. Trevor worked for Eon Bill over my dead body. That's not a proper trade. Trevor needs nurturing now. You're just a bloke to do it. But I thought you said I was making a mess of the stall. Go on. Give him a go. Mum's trialling, OK? Well, 
Well, thank me for this one day. Yeah, well, don't hold your breath waiting. Oh, of course you will laugh at us. That's what you need an half wit of company when it gets lonely down the market. <laughs> oh, go on, laugh. You're not laughing, I think. It's a great idea, I really do. In that case, why didn't you keep him on as pop? Oh, come on, that job was too highly skilled for that lad. What you got here, Mums? Yeah. What's this? Three eggs, butter and cheese. So what are you doing here, then? It's obvious, isn't it? I'm working. So you can be near her again, is that it? Because if I don't finish the job, she's not going to pay me. Look, then, if you really cared about me, you wouldn't worry about the money she owes you. Look, Dan, I'd love to forget all about it, but I can't because I'm skint. She owes me some money. She's not going to pay me until I finish the job now, like it or lump it. Come here. Paul, I really put my foot in it just now with Carmel. Mm. Why didn't anyone tell me? Oh, sorry if I'm interrupting anything. You were saying? Well, why did nobody tell me that Carmel's father had just died? I went in like a ten-ton truck taking Junior to task for not delivering those coupons. Then I saw he and Carmel were in a real state. Oh, I could have cut my own tongue out. I really could. I was so embarrassed. Look, well, I'm going. No, you don't have to. Yeah, I want to. All of a sudden, there seems to be a bit of a bad smell in the room. See you later, all right? All right. Oh, oh, Ethel, I do wish you'd stop going on about it. You're jealous. Oh, jealous? Oh. Yes, because you're not a senior citizen. Usual, ladies? Yes, darling. Ethel, right. far from being jealous, I am really quite distressed to think that a friend of mine should be reduced to queuing up the handouts from some charity. Are you on about this free butter they're giving out? Yes. yes. And Dot's jealous because she's not included. I don't fancy it much myself. I may not have much, but I've still got my pride. That's my sentiments exactly. Here, how's your new lodger, Doc? Oh, very well, thank you. Got himself a job yet, has he? No, unfortunately, no. But he's intending to set up in his own business very shortly. <laughs> what is his business? Well, Brody was a market trader, you know, in the music <laughs> business. It should only be a matter of time, you know, until he gets something sorted out. My Trevor started a new job. Oh, really? Youth employment scheme, is it? No. He's a market trader, too. Arthur's new assistant. Arthur? Arthur's new assistant? That's right. Oh, oh well, fancy that. Yes, well, <laughs> still, it ain't the same as setting up your own business, is it? You mean it ain't the same as queuing up for the dough? Mm -hmm. Well, anyway, I've got to get on. I've got a lot to do. And I should steer clear of that butter and cheese if I was you, Ethel. Don't sound too hygienic to me. Then again, some people ain't as particular as me. There we go, ladies. Oh, Ethel, I wish I'd known. Known what? Why did Arthur need an assistant? Now, that Mo was gloating. There's her lodger in gainful employment while mine is languishing in idleness. Oh, why, oh, why didn't Arthur tell me? Well, I don't suppose he had any choice. I expect Mo forced him to take Trevor. She can be a very great bully, that woman, you know. Ethel, I expect you're right. Mo can be quite horribly forceful. I know. enjoy myself today, Arthur. I'm glad about that, Trev. Well, I was OK, wasn't I? I mean, I was beginning to get the hang of it, wasn't I? All right, Arthur. Everybody happy? Oh, yeah, happy's not the word. No, I didn't think it would be, no. no I think I'll have another drink, please. Right. Hey, that bloke that owed you all that money, anything happened about him? No, not yet. Looks like I might have to come down heavy on him. It's much like to avoid unnecessary aggravation. Mm. I'll help you out, Mr Butcher. No, that's all right, Trevor. It's not your problem, is it? But you're Diane's dad. Oh, don't you worry about it, son. And your mum's been ever so, ever so nice to me. I mean, it's almost like I'm part of the family, really. Yeah, of course it is, yeah. Well, if I need you, I'll, uh, I'll let you know, son. Hey, by the way, Trevor, you're still signing on, aren't you? Yeah. Well, if you're working for me, you can't do that. Oh, no, they don't mind. The lady down the dole office, she's ever so nice. Yeah, but you can't work and sign on at the same time. You've got to do one or the other, and you could get me into a lot of trouble, you see. I mean, it might be in your interest not to work for me, you know what I mean? Oh, no, you've got to pay your own way. I mean, that's what Mrs Moe always says, isn't it? Well, there's no arguing with what Mrs Moe always says, is there? Hey, hey! Have you had any breakfast or something? I haven't had any sleep. Getting up at 7 o'clock on a school holiday, I might as well not go to bed. You don't like early starts, do you, you kid? What is it, signing on day or something? Yeah, results. Eh? We've got our results today, GCSEs. What, this morning? How'd you get on? That's what Dad's got me up for, isn't it? I've got to go to school and find out. You'd think he'd want to know his own results, wouldn't you? Well, he's got his mechanics course, hasn't he? Probably thinks they're a bit academic. They're still important, Pet. You listen to Daddy, darling. I was reading a paper the other day, and according to this article, 75% of the school leavers in some areas can't even read or write. <laughs> Don't tell me the other 50% can't add up. You've got to make an effort, that's all I'm saying, darling. Otherwise, you wind up like some of the no-opers are coming here, boozing it up morning, noon and night. That's a bit early for you, loving it. 
I'm cleaning me rings, Frank, so there's a sparkle when your business friends come to visit. So instead of worrying about things that you can't change, like Ricky's results, why don't you give me a hand cleaning this place up, eh? Well, I've got a bit of business on first, well. Your visitors are your business. This is supposed to be your big day. I want to check out the B&B, love. I thought we'd forgotten all about that, Frank. Yes, well, I've been thinking. Uh, maybe you was right. Maybe this is not the place to bring up kids. Hello, what's brought this on? Well, Ricky's GCSEs for a start. I mean, say he doesn't get him today. Is that because he's thick or because he lives in a madhouse? <laughs> then we got Di, she's got her exams. And in a few years' time, that'd be Janine. And he's you, working 18 hours a day and trying to cope with the kids at the same time. Yeah, well, I told you all that before, Frank, but forget that B&B, &B, it ain't big enough. Yes, maybe, maybe, maybe. No, maybe about it. All right, listen, my darling, I want you to leave it to me to check out, all right? Frank. I don't want my baby growing up rubbing shoulders with con men and villains, do I? Frank! I'm gonna make sure you stay just as sweet as you are, my baby, cos I love you. Frank, can I have a word with you about this, what please? About? Hang on. What do you want to talk about? He's big. Oh, no, I've already got one of those. Oh, well, give it to Ethel for me, then. No, she's already got one and all. In fact, I'm waiting for her to come back from her hairdo right now. <laughs> It's your day for freebies, isn't it, today? Oh, yeah. They've even put us down for a prize draw, according to the people dishing out all the food. There's a fortnight's holiday in Torquay for the first prize. You lucky old thing. Yeah, yeah I know. Perhaps we should have some balloons or something, like you see on the telly when they have them American elections. All oh, balloons and streamers. Oh, for a licensed victualler's lunch. <laughs> it's a big day for my boy, this, you know. Why else do you think you're helping out full time on a Thursday? I know he's in with a shout of being elected chairman, Mo, but it's hardly the sort of thing you need to celebrate with a ticker tape parade round the square. <laughs> now, there's some very important people coming here today. Like Fat Harry, you mean? Among others. Oh, yeah, there's Mickey the Fish from the Open Anchor. I was pranking the phone to him earlier. Oh, we'll bring on the dancing girls, eh? <laughs> this is not just an ordinary meeting. Not just the elections, some very important decisions being made here today. Yeah? That's why some of the big knobs are coming from the brewery, like Mr Sparrow. Do what? Yeah, Frank invited him. Well, he's coming here today. Well, no, actually, he's refused. He had a prior engagement. But he's sending another bigwig from the brewery. That's why I think it's worth making an effort, even if some people don't. Yeah, I know, Sharon. I just see it now. Some big math from the brewery asked how Frank's going to manage while you're on your course, and he says, what yeah, course? all right, Sharon. But it looks to me like you've just run out of options. You've got to tell him now. Ricky! Dad will kill you if he sees you driving that. He said I want to drive it anyway. Well, someone's bound to see you. Arthur won't give you a second chance if he catches you again. Well, I'm only going to be going round the square. You haven't got a licence. Dad will go mad. He'll go square anyway. I failed me exam. What, all of them? Yep, looks like I'm in for a row anyway, so I might as well make it a good one. Oh, Ricky! <laughs> oh, at last, the wanderer returns. Yes, my sweet, the hunter returns with the spoils. Frank, it's your lunch. The least you could have done was give me a hand. Now, come on, sweetheart. I told you where I was going. Yeah, you need bar focals if it's taking your morning to decide that B&B is too small. Yes, you were right, my darling, it is too small. I told you that days ago. But it won't be. I've just put a bit in for the house next door. Now, will you excuse me? I've got to make a phone call. I'm going to leave that three grand. Mm. Oh, Miss Reeves, Ethel wants me to yes. give you a message. Oh, yeah. She's been yeah. a bit held up, oh. and she says, could you keep the men here for a while so she doesn't miss out on her free food? Well, they run out, see? So they've gone off in the van to get some more. Well, you're all right, aren't you? You've got yours. You could have gone home. Well, I could, yes, but, you see, I'm waiting to hear about the draw. Only they've taken our pension books so they can get our names for the prize draw. Oh, listen to that. I say, there's so much crime about these days, isn't there? You tell your boss from here, why don't I get my free grand? He'll have more than a rumble on his hands. Yes. Oh, Frank, I thought she was going to let that drop. Sweetheart, if we're going to invest in a couple of properties, I'm going to need every copper coin I can get my hands on. Are you serious? Darling, one house wasn't big enough, was it? So we buy the one next door and knock the wall through. And the bloke next door agrees just like that? Let's save for the right price, it'd be interesting. What exactly is the right price? Four cars a month. What? Well, in a rough guess, that's what I'll have to sell to cover the mortgage payments. Who's going to be daft enough to give you a mortgage? Hey, come on, sweeter. Anybody these days. I thought you'd be pleased. I thought you wanted a real home. I do! Well, now I may have got you one. On the square, a stone throw from the Vic and the car. Yeah, but Frank, I Darling, just... darling. Listen, this is the chance for a new start for us. Maybe a brand new start. What do you mean? Well, maybe it's time for a change all round, including this place. I don't mean get rid of it or nothing like that, but time for us to take a back seat so we can concentrate on the kids and on us. You have been doing some thinking, haven't you? Yes. Maybe you think of... I've got something worth thinking about. I, I don't always like this, darling. But always something to bother us. There's always something to do. There's never any time for ourselves. Or, and yeah. the other... Any time you've got ready, son, they'll be here in a minute, you know. Yeah. I'll be 
right there. You need to rub anything, did I? Sure. Yeah, and you can start as soon as possible, he said. I don't want to start at all, not free and beer. Right? Oh, Rod, it's only for a few hours, you know. You don't start the afternoon, you finish by ten o'clock. So I'll be working all my evenings? No, I've arranged it to suit your lifestyle. Do what? You'll have all the mornings off, so you can still have your long lie-ins, because I know you like your bed. Well, yeah. And then you don't go out too late, so it won't interfere with your social life. It'll interfere with me elf working with that slave driver. The devil finds work for idle hands, Rod. Look, I'm not going to get into trouble. No, that's what I thought about Donna. I see, so that's what this is about, is it? I don't want you to get into trouble, Rod. I couldn't bear it. Oh, please, Rod. First week I got married, the wife gave me rabbit every day. We had rabbit pie, rabbit stew and rabbit ash. After the end of the week, I fell on the floor holding my sides and the wife came in and said, shall I get you to the doctor? I said, no, don't worry about that. See if but... you can borrow a ferret. Have you heard it? Yeah, many times, Frank. Oh, I'm just trying to think of a few funnies to break the ice before we sit down to lunch. We should try Mona Lisa cocktails. Hey? Mona Lisa cocktails. So you have two of them and you can't get this silly grin off your face, see? <laughs> <laughs> I like that, so I might use that, yeah. <laughs> it's an important day today, then, Frank. Yeah, it's a big day, sir. Yeah, a lot of them big knobs from the brewery coming down, most. Yes, yeah, so I invited most of them, son. It seemed a good idea at the time. <clears throat> Frank. Mm hmm. As a matter of fact, Simon, I'm glad you're here this afternoon because you being keen on the game, well, you might meet one or two useful contacts. Yeah, I already have. Yes, of course you would, have, wouldn't you? Yeah, well, you better know, Frank. I'm, uh, I'm going on a management course in a couple of weeks. What? A management course, you know, learn how to run a pub. I see. Yes. yes. Well, it could be a good chance for me, Frank. Oh no, 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 not at all. This would be one of those courses where they teach you how to integrate with the local community, would it be? Oh yeah. Yeah, and lots of useful tips on how to boost trade, like uh, country and western evenings and Bavarian nights, where the landlord walks about with a pair of leather shorts, slapping his thighs and swigging lava. All right, don't try and put me off, Frank. It may not mean much to you, but Simon, it could be a good step up for me, Simon, you see? Simon, Simon, the only way out to learn to run a pub, son, is to do it. Look at me. Yeah, I know that, but the brewery won't have it until I've been on the course, will they? I might. Hey? Why didn't you tell me what was on your mind before? As a matter of fact, I'm thinking of moving in a new direction. If a couple of little deals that I'm working on come off, well, I'm going to need a manager in here over the next couple of weeks. Well, you've me. Hey, you did well enough before, didn't you? Oh, you bet it wouldn't be full time now, would it, Frank? It could be. Yes, it uh, it could be. I could be, well, one of the manager on a full time basis. Well, you think they're giving this up? Let us just say that maybe there may be a full time managerial position on offer here. That is, of course, unless you're interested in uh, country and western nights. Yeah, all right, Frank. Well, to be quite honest, I was dreading it. I couldn't tell Sharon that, though. Imagine what it'd be like, all them Wilmot Brown types. <laughs> Frank, horrible, first we get to the yes, arrival. Oh, right, now put your tie straight. Yes, son, yes, darling. That was, uh, Mona Lisa cocktails, wasn't it? Yeah, that's yeah. right. Frank. Why are you used to see me rings? No. Frank, the first of them big brewery knobs is here. What's up? Come on, don't panic, Pat. Frank, the glass is empty. Somebody must have taken Just them. Just hang on, sweetheart. What else could have happened to them? It might be a magpie. They fly in through the window and nick bright things, don't they? A magpie? I thought that was Jack Dawes. Whatever it was, are you seriously suggesting it flew in through that window and fished me rings out of a glass of gin? I shall get in touch with the police and tell them I'll put out on all points for a smashed magpie. Frank, there's no need for the police. Has no one been up here except us lot and... And Uma? Who else has been up here, Mum? Well, no one, apart from Trevor. No, no, hang on a minute, well, you Trevor's lot. Trevor's been up here. Yeah, he was delivering some vegetables for the house. But he wouldn't take your rings. He's not that stupid. No! He did get caught nicking stuff from work, though, didn't he? He got nicked, putting it back. So let's have a good look round before we start accusing people, shall we? Yes, Mum's right, Pat. You'd probably put them down somewhere. Yes, I did. In this glass. Damn, damn, damn. Well, how'd you get on? <laughs> now, we want to be LVA chairman anyway. Oh, Frank. Yeah, well, some you lose, baby. Well, you probably wouldn't have had time for it anyway. Well, especially not with all we'll have on our plates if we do yeah, get that BMW. Yeah, 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 that's true. Of course it is, yeah. But Harry, was it still miffed about his BMW? Oh, well, to be quite honest, his vote wouldn't have made much difference to the end result anyway, love. I mean, other people didn't vote for you. No, no, no. How many votes did you get, Frank? No. <laughs> I see. Still, as you say, I've got me health, I've got me business. I've got a nice new home to look forward to, and most important of all, I've got me family around. Mm. Ah, speaking of which, young lady, have you seen that brother of yours? Isn't he here? He was here, but he left without telling me his results. Wonder why. Mm -hmm. Look, a man asked me to give you this. What man? Well, I'd give it to me as I was passing the car lot. Probably a check or something. If this is one of your coupons for the old age pensioner's discount at the salon, young lady, I will not be amused. A check, Frank! Hang on to that. Right. Just gonna make a mess on the floor. Thank you, darling. Oh, someone please 
please tell me what's going on. Uh, there's nothing you worry about, love of my life. Three grand, or next time 